Got one. Got him. Not the biggest. Gosh, this is a Lucky Craft day. All on the Lucky Craft 110, Ghost Sardine. Whoa, what is that? It's a halibut. How long is it though? Oh, dude, I don't know. It looks big enough. Go. Oh. Welcome back, guys. After that last trip, this is like all I was thinking about, and I'm here with Bobby. I brainwashed him to come. Said, uh, you're coming. And I was like, okay, I'll go fishing. Okay. So today all I brought is uh, uh, my Lucky Craft box, glow sardine. I was just sharpening the hooks on the way here, charging the GoPro. This was uh, another one of those on the whim events. This is where I've been fishing. Oh. Oh, shit. Jeez. Whew. One of the beauties of driving on the beach right here. Oh yeah, this is looking prime, guys. Look at this. This is where I've been fishing, buddy. Look how prime that looks once we stop moving. Oh yeah. It's gonna be the last time I reference the last video, but hopefully my audio is gonna be quite a bit better. If you guys saw that video, my vest was covering the microphone for my GoPro and it just sounded like a muffled mess. So I had to delete a lot of stuff, but this time around, hopefully it'll be a lot better. And I finally broke my skunk. Oh shoot, looks like Bobby's already got one. No, I need to get in the water. Let's go see what he's got. Oh, that's a slab. Oh my gosh, bro. Hold that sucker up. Wow. Bobby, you're not messing around, huh? What was that, second cast? Second cast. Well, it's good to know. Very nice. Awesome. That didn't take very long. Are you gonna, are you open to showing people or no? <laughs> he's got a bait that he's using that he doesn't want to tell, tell anybody about. But anyway, going straight braid on this thing. But the nice thing about going straight braid on the Lucky Craft is your chances of losing a $20 lure are very minimal. So that's one positive to throw in heavy weight. I mean, heavy weight line. So Bobby just told me that this is where his friend caught a striper too. Ah, oh, got one already. Yes. On the lucky craft. Doubled up. Bobby and I just doubled up. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. That was like literally my second legit cast. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at this. That's bigger than the first one. Oh my gosh, wow. giants. Guys, this is a great start. That is a, this is a great start. I'm down to keep this going. Oh no, I don't have my, um, my pliers on me today. This is gonna be challenging. Do you have pliers? Oh yeah, that was awesome. First, first good cast. When I cast it earlier, my braid was kind of dry, so I didn't get the distance that I wanted and it kind of backlashed on me, so. Oh, that was awesome. Let's do this again. Oh, another one. Oh, I came off. What? Bobby just missed one too. Right there. 
Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh yes! Come here, come here. Oh, I think he came off. Oh no, he's still there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come here. Come here, you big, big guy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on a hot bite again. Gosh, how is this for a welcome back to the surf? Hey, Bobby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for calling me out. He called me at work and uh, I have you to thank for this. I just felt it, bro. Nice. Gosh. Yeah, Bobby just said he's going to try his bait caster today, too. I think uh, bait casters in the surf is a really good idea. Look at Bobby. Look at him go. He's got one. Veronica wants you to come home, bro. We're gonna have a limit in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my honey told me not to come home past like eight o'clock. So I was like, okay, I'll be home. So hopefully we can make that happen. I love you, honey. Look at that. That's a good cast. Oh my gosh, too easy. This is way too easy. Oh my goodness. What? No. Bobby just asked me if this is where we fished the other day. No, this is better than where we fished the other day. I know it looked lights out, but this is even more lights out. It's like almost every cast. Literally, I'm not like, I like almost don't need to stop the GoPro. Jeez. <laughs> Bobby just said save some fish for, for us. That's three and three. Dude, three and three, we got six so far? Dude, like literally it's been what? 10 minutes? Ten minutes? Jeez. On fire again. Oh. I'm loving this. Jeez, this is great. The conditions are perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, money. Oh, there you go. I'm getting bit already. Oh, it came off. I'm just working it as slow as I can while I still keep that action going. That's the trick to this is just make sure that bait is moving around. Oh yeah, they're right there. That's crazy. Right in front of us. There's a big, good, healthy school right in front of us. So much life. All right, so it slowed down a little bit. Just a little bit. Started off on fire though. We got six within 10 minutes. And then a few bites after that, I missed a couple for some reason. They were on for a little bit. Maybe I need to loosen my drag a little bit. Oh, I just got hit really close to shore. There you go. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, look how this one ate it. Ridiculous. That's how you want him to eat it, right there. Look, he can close his mouth all over the treble hooks. Jeez, he took that treble deep. That is number four. Number four in less than 20 minutes. This is unbelievable. Got one. Got him. Not the biggest. Gosh, this is a lucky craft day. 
all on the Lucky Craft 110 Ghost Sardine. Whoa, what is that? It's a halibut. How long is it though? Oh, dude, I don't know. It looks big enough. Oh, look at this, guys. A little bit. That looks big enough, bro. Wow, guys. Halibut. Woo! Woo Halibut. Shut your mouth. Get out of here. Guys, let's get a measurement on this. All right, guys, tape measure. Oh, almost legal halibut. Almost legal, 21 inches. California legal size for halibut is 22 inches. And this one's 21. So the absolute right thing to do is to let it go. I have like, I have like no second thoughts about it, but just get a couple pictures, get the release. 21 inches, grow up, turn 22. There she goes. Woo! Awesome, let's do it again. First one on the Lucky Craft, first halibut on the Lucky Craft. Good job. Thank you. At it. Look at that thing, jeez, that thing's massive. I can't even come up with a word for it. Oh, what a day. This is a great day. Let's see if we can get a legal halibut this time though. Looking back on it, this, this rod handled that halibut really well. There's not really much current in this area either, which is really nice. It's just a deep hole right next to shore, so it gives these fish access to the sand crabs that are out here, and it allows them to eat in peace without having to eat and run. Definitely a solid area to fish, right here. Look at that, oh, because I can work it really slow, because when the current's too crazy, it's hard to work your bait slow. I think that was key in catching that halibut too, being able to work the bait slow so it went right in, right in front of his face. That was pretty awesome. And he wasn't very far out at all. Heck yeah, if you would have told me I was gonna catch my first halibut from shore today, I wouldn't have believed you. But I'm a believer now. Bobby thought that I got a striper when I got that halibut. Oh my God, Bobby's just pulling them out left and right. He just pulled out a nice one. But I am perfectly content just throwing the Lucky Craft. Just because the chances of fish that it can catch. I mean, sardines, the, what this is trying to mimic is part of the diet of so many predatory fish. And when this swims by, I don't blame a fish for trying, trying to swallow it. All right, so I made a little bit of a walk down the beach, let that spot rest that I was catching them at. Now I'm on my way back. That was another about 15 minutes or so. Let's see if that theory works. Oh yeah, it worked. That theory works. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, he came off. Dang it, I should have left my rod tip down. It's like slack tide, huh? It's slack tide. That's like the perfect time to get halibut though, slack tide. Slack tide's perfect for halibut. They love biting during slack tide. There you go. It's a good fish. That's a good fish. All right, I got a good taker. I've been missing a few actually today. Maybe it's just a different bite than it was a couple of days ago. But that is interesting how the overcast is playing to our favor though. I'm all right with that. So I believe that's number six, six one, two. Actually, that's number five. How many are you at? Seven. Oh, that halibut slowed me down. I can actually work this thing like a jerk bait instead of just 
bait retrieve. Jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. Speaking of jerk, jerk, pause, jig, jig, pow. What's up, jig, jig, pow? It's been great interacting with you, bro. Maybe one of these days you can come up here when I'm fishing the surf, or maybe I'll go to San Diego and catch some spotted bass with you. That would be sick. Oh, I just missed one right there. You see that? Let's see if I can catch one right here. But yeah, jig jig pow, that would be cool. Let's do it. We gotta meet up, catch some surf perch. So every now and then I'm gonna give it a, a twitch and a pause. Oh, that bait looks good in the water. There you go. No, 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 come here. Use that wave. There you go. There you go, come here, come here. Oh, that is a good one, guys. <laughs> I'm getting used to saying that. Nailed him right on the head. Right by the eyeball. Good thing we're not having an eyeball challenge today. Oh, beautiful fish. They're so gorgeous looking. I called it too the spot to the right of where Bobby is fishing, a little bit farther to the right, has been better for the Lucky Craft. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. What an epic day, another epic day. You know what, last video, I know I said I was gonna stop mentioning last video, but I mentioned that I've been on skunk trips and to be able to get good ones like this after those trips, awesome and then if you guys are new and just joining me I mean I keep my fish I love cooking it that's the name hook to cook and my fiance is actually a pescatarian that's Veronica and uh, her only source of protein in terms of meat is fish she doesn't eat chicken or beef or anything like that so we have fish almost every night so very rarely does any fish that I catch last more than a week in the hook to cook household. So none of this fish goes to waste, guys, I promised. Would have been nice to catch a 22 inch halibut though. That would have been really delicious. Would have had to come up with a recipe for that. Carl, Carl Tachinski, I know you're watching this. What do you think about that, bro? What do you think about that halibut? That was awesome. One inch off, one more inch and I could have kept that guy. Those rules are there for a reason, and it wouldn't be wise of me to try to keep that thing. There you go. Oh. It's been about 20 minutes without a fish. I'm spoiled now. <laughs> Yesterday or a few days ago, I was like, any fish. I'd be happy with any fish. And now, if it's been 20 minutes before, between fish, I'm like, what's taking so long? Oh yeah. That's the one, guys. The glow sardine makes the magic happen. Oh yeah. We'll see. All right, so the tide's definitely turned over. And it's now past slack tide. It's actually heading towards low tide now. So, I guess it's expected that the bite dies down a little bit after that. Gosh, it was such a hot start. And then to top it off, got that halibut. Just two really, really good fishing days in a matter of a few days. This has been amazing. Big thanks again to Bobby for inviting me out. Even if the tide's getting lower, this is still a really good pocket. There you go. We got a fighter on our hands. There you go. 
Yeah. Huh. I believe this is number eight. All on the lucky craft, guys. Every single one. Yeah, the fish are actually more quality this time than last time. I'm ready when you are. Last cast. I know, we're so close to having a limit, but can't say too late. Can't say too late, especially since the derby is coming up. All right, we're in last cast territory. Two more casts then. One more cast always turns into two more casts, which always turns into 10. You guys know how it is. Last cast does not always mean last cast. My last, last cast, I promise. This is my last, last cast. Okay, last, 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 last cast right here. And that's it. I'm happy with that cast, let's go. And then what makes it an even more last, last, last cast is if you actually catch something, because then you're like, oh, they're right there, they're back, the school's back. But that was my legitimately last cast. The setup put in some work today. That's the setup right there, guys. Money. Wait a minute, what's going on over here? Last cast. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine. That's right. So he's got nine. I got eight. That's not a bad bag for. We could get our limit. We know it. I know I could get one more. We could get our limit, and we know it. What time is it? It's uh 7:11. Oh. Cause then we can be like, honey, look. <laughs> we almost had our limit, but we stopped because we had to go home. Oh, that was awesome. Dude, there's there's some, we got some quality fish today. If you would have brought a halibut home, <laughs> they wouldn't have said anything. Bringing a halibut home legally would have been awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully that halibut grows up nice and big and healthy, but I guess the chances of catching it again when it's, health, or when it's bigger okay. is astronomical. You're pretty good over there. Oh, yeah, there's pretty good over there too. <laughs> Did pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Pretty good. Did we leave any for anyone else? Yeah, I left a couple. Just a couple. We could, we could get our limit right now. I just need one more for a limit. But I don't want to make my wife mad, so we'll go home. Likewise. Honeys, that's for you. We're going home for you. Otherwise, we'd be here getting our limit. But final tally, me eight, him nine, mine all on Lucky Craft. Ugh, can't beat that. <laughs>